Hello, my name is Erika and uh, I just finished drawing this uh, assets and uh, yeah, I will uh, work with this and this is the main character I will be working with and I will make some awesome animations and we will make this little guy move Oh, and he's so cute I think I mean it's kind of cute and first we will have to um, drag and drop the ground because we will need something that the main character will stand on and yeah we will need to add a component and this component is drum rolls please da -dum a box collider yes and as we all can see there is no material attached and in a game uh, for example if uh, we have another ground right here let's add a component this box collider and this and if the character will jump from this to here and hit the side then we want the character to slide off and not stick to that and that's why we will need a material how can we do that uh, we will right click right here go to create and we will go to physics 2d and we will name this let me think let me think i shall name you slip enter and now we don't want any friction we will put this to zero and now we will drag and drop this slip to here finish him just like this and BAM we have a, the ground where the, our character will move I'm so proud now that we are done with that let's go to slice the sprites first we start with this this right here and we will choose sprite mode multiple like this and here it's just fine this now sprite editor and we wait now this will uh, pop up right here and we will go here to slice and we will choose grid yes and i made mine to be uh two seven five two 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 seven five slice and yeah i just sliced them hit apply and we will wait now we can close this and as you can see when you open this you have your your sprite sliced and yeah and you will do this to all your sprites I will uh, go ahead and slice them, finish them, and then I will be back. Now that I just finished, let's go to game object and create empty. And I will rename this. Rename. I will name my character Bob. 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 
now that I have Bob I will select this right here so I can move this empty box or whatever here and now we need to add some components and the first thing that we will add will be add component we will go to rendering and we will select sprite renderer this thing right here will render our sprite sheet and now we will we have no sprite here we will drag and drop the first from the idol here and now we can see Bob oh he's so cute Here is Bob. As you can see, Bob looks kind of blurry. So, what we can do is uh, select the sprite sheet, go here, and select this right here, and hit apply. And we will wait, like always. Now what we want to do is click on this game object, add component and from here you will select physics 2D and uh, where is rigid body 2D, I think, yeah, rigid body 2D. Now here you set this to interpolate and uh, let's see after we done this we will uh, minimize this right here at component because if we hit play as you can see he will fall through and we don't want that. We don't want to lose Bob. So we add component and we go to colliders physics 2D and here to the feet we will put a circle collider. Let's see. Yeah, and uh, make this we hit play and he's standing. Now we will add another collider here at component physics 2D box collider. We scale this just like this. Now we will put another collider to his head because Bob has a big head. Uh, physics 2D circle collider and we'll scale this we will scale this down Just like this. And yeah, we have the colliders. Now after we done this, all we need is an the two miscellaneous 
and we need an animator like this we will uh, now uh, now here we will uh, select animate physics like this and I think we are done with that for now and as you can also see is we have no controller right here that's why we will go to the a set folder I said a set and we will create a new folder and here we will put all the things uh, that are related to the animation animation like this and now we will create um, let's see animator controller I will name it Bob controller like this and here in this empty thing right here we will drag and drop this here and yeah now we will double click this and as you can see we have here any state entry and exit now we want to Bob to move it move it and for that we need to create animations for uh, Bob and we go to window animation and two, two, two. Mm. like this now what you want to do is uh, select the object for what you want to create an animation we select Bob create and we will name this idle okay now here we have idle we will go back to project and from the sprite folder we will hold down the shift key button and we will select all the frames drag and drop them here uh, before we hit play we go to the main camera and select the lighter color that is more suitable for the bulb like this oh it looks so cute now we select the bulb and here the this is uh, this controls the time how fast the animation will play i find that uh, with bulb uh, this number works just fine and now we hit play and here's Bob just standing there and blinking and crying for help Oh! now we will set up the run animation we select Bob right here create a new clip and we name it run and hit save now here we can see we have and this right here we go back to project we select the run 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 here shift to the end and drag and drop it here now let's now we go to uh, the animator we make transition to run 
like this and make transition from run to idle like this because if you're not running you are idle and that's why and we also need a parameter we hit the plus sign float we will name it speed speed so with this this will help to see when we will make this transition now to make this work we click on this arrow like right here and this is a condition we hit plus when when the speed this variable is uh, greater than 0 0.01 then it makes the transition to run and here also this will be idle when we add a condition when uh, speed is less than 0 0.01 it makes a transition to idle now we have all this but we how can we make this work we need a script to tell uh, when uh, the switch will occur so we'll make a we will make a new folder we will name it script so script write this and uh, we will create a C sharp script and we will name it whatever you like Bob code like this now we will um, open this now this popped up and we will just write the code we will need three three variables one for speed so I will just delete this I will make it public float uh, max speed equals 11 F. we will need a boolean variable to check if our character is facing right or left in our case our character Bob is facing right so we have a variable right equals true this variable will help us to uh, flip Bob to see when to flip Bob right or left and we will need a variable of type animator Uh, this uh, will help us to access the animator and uh, see when to transition from idle to uh, run or jump and as you see, can see I didn't make the jump animation because it's uh, a bit complicated you will see why next and yeah uh, back to the code a equals to get component component of type and animator like this and now <coughs> we will we will use the fixed update function fixed update function and now we will need to see how mu how we move how much we move so we will need a variable of the type float move equals to input input dot uh, 
look at axis horizontally we will check how much we move on the x on the x axis horizontal now uh, no 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 what we will do is we will um, hmm, let's see we will put the animator a dot set float because uh, as you can see here we have the speed variable and we have to pass this a uh, value so we can we know when it's zero so we transition to run or it's uh, you know what i'm talking about when it's greater than zero so we transition and if it's less than 0 0.01 we transition back to idle so yeah mm, set float um, the name was speed and uh, we will use mathf because we will transform this move this move variable can be negative because we are moving uh, on the x axis and we can have negative values we will transform this Whoops. Mm, move like this now we will move our character after we we decided what animation we use we will move our character by using get component um, rigid body 2d it's important to be 2D um, dot velocity uh, equals to new vector 2 and here we will move move uh, with max s like this I just I did this wrong max s like this max s and we will get component um, rigid body 2d dot velocity dot y uh, we will move on the x axis with this speed right here and the y axis will be this and yup and now we want to see when to flip the character we we'll see when we have to flip it if uh, move is greater than zero and and uh, where is the end and 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 it's not right then we will flip this don't worry we will make a, another function later a function flip else if move 
is less than zero and end we are facing right then flip now I think we are done with the uh, fixed update fu function we will make uh, another function called flip flip Now uh, we will make right equals to not right and the vector tree uh, scale scale equals to transform dot local scale and now we will use dot x equals minus one like this and transform dot local scale equals to scale and we are done I think yes we are done this uh, function will flip the world world thing not and uh, this way we don't need a um, separate animation uh, with the character that face uh, the opposite direction and we will see now if it's working yeah we have no errors now we will go here to project and we will drag and drop this on our main character here and now we will test this if it works no it doesn't and it's not working you know why because Bob is such a little picky creature how can we fix this we select Bob and you saw that he is turning and he's doing some crazy stuff like he's at the circus we can fix that by going to rigid body 2d constraints and we will check this freeze rotation on the z-axis and let's see whoops yeah trust me he's not doing crazy stuff and how we can fix the other thing we go to this thing right here and this will pop up and now here we set this to 0 0.9 you don't need fixed duration we put this to 0 like this and we uncheck this right there now let's see if it works Whoop. yeah he has too much speed let's go to Bob let's put the speed to 6 let's see now yeah he's running look 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 it's running he's alive yeah now we have to make the jump animation but it's kind of tricky because uh, let's see 
here. Here's the we have this when he jumps. This right here jumps up. We have one animation, and when he lands, we have another animation. And we have to create three animations. But before that, we need to create a, an empty great game object. We name this uh, uh, rename. Name this uh, ground. Ground check from ground check. Like this. Attach this to Bob. Select an icon like this. Now we go to the scene. We have here this. Let's choose this color and you could drag this to the ground. This will detect uh, what it's gr what's ground. What uh, can be considered ground? We take Bob, we put Bob on another layer, add layer, layer like this and um, yeah we go back to Bob we select layer and move Bob to another layer yes change children so ground check will be also layer and uh, now we go to the animator and we add another variable a ball uh, and we will name it ground ground and we will check this like this now we will go back uh, to scripts and we will uh, open bob code and now we will have to add some variables to see where our bob is if he's on the ground or not we will use a ball ground equals false a public we will use an object uh, transform ground check good I hope I spelled that right and we will float ground radius equals zero point F. This will create a, a bubble uh, down that uh, object that we just uh, added to Bob's foot and that will detect if we are on the ground or not. And we also need a public float jump force. Force cost seven thousand F like this, and we will need a public layer mask to determine what uh, is considered ground. What is ground mm, just like this and now we will move right here 
and we need to uh, set ground equals to physics physics 2d where can I find that physics 2d dot uh, over lap circles check Oops. circle ground check uh, that position ground radius radius and uh, we need what is ground like this now we will set a dot set ball ground to ground we will set that to ground because this ground variable this right here uh, determines if we are on something that be, uh, that can be considered ground yeah that's it let's see if we have bugs mm. i think we are fine yes we are just fine now let's see we go to bob like this and as you can see we have here uh, ground check we will drag and drop this object here and we will select everything expect player Every, everything can be considered ground expect expect the player yes now that we done that we will create uh, three jump animations we will go animator animation we have pop selected create yes uh, we go create jump jump one save and in jump one we will select this no let's see we will jump like this jump one create new jump two save we put it that no actually that uh, let's let me think this is in the middle like this and in jump one this is jump one yes delete key and we add this and we will make a jump tree jump tree and we will add this yeah we have we have three jump animations we will go to the animator and we select this and we can delete them because we will do something else now before we do anything else i uh, want to finish with the code and i think we will need another variable 
of uh, the type float and we will name it vertical speed vertical speed enter and now we will go back to the script bob code and we will wait this to load and while we wait and let's see what we will need yes we will need a function void update update oh, yes I spelled that right like this and here uh, we will check if we are on the ground but but first first so before I forget we will need to set the animator object a dot A dot set float um, what did I name that vertical s uh, get component get component of the type rigid body to dim like that dot um, velocity on the y axis like this let's check if that was the correct name uh yes no vertical speed like this now in the update we will need to check if we are on the ground and uh, input put that get k down the k code key code dot space then that means that we will I don't like to when you need mono developer does this now we will set the animator object set ball ground mm false because if we jump that means we are not on the ground and get component a rigid body 2d dot add force new vector new vector to the um, we add the force j force jump force like this I hope I did that right and now let's see um uh, we have an error here let's yeah i forgot the zero zero let's see now if it works i if every time i forgot to press f5 now this works now that we finished with the code 
we can go here right click create from new blend tree uh, it depend on the force that we jump vertically we will determine what kind of animation we will play yeah here we have our blend tree now from any state i will transition to blend tree when like this uh let's see no when ground is false and now after that i will transition from this to idle like this uh, I will transition when ground equals to true ground yes equals true now we will double click on this but first let me change the name in jump like this mm, it didn't change but whatever now here we will select vertical speed at motion field add another motion field and another uh, that depends on how many animations you have for the jump I will put jump 1 2 and here I will s let's dislike this let's put here minus 13 and 5 ish Third, and here we put 2 I uh, played around with these values and I found that this works kind of let's Hmm. and let's see yeah he jumps but he jumps too high I mean what yeah now let's modify the order let's see if it, it jumps correctly let's put two here and jump one here and let's see i hope it works yeah i like how it works now let's, uh, let's put jump force to i don't know five like this and let's see now how it works come on yeah I like how it works yes it's just fine and yeah this is it for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it and uh, you can find this little guy on the store I will leave a link in the description and yeah subscribe for more tutorials I I will be back I will be back like Arnold yes <laughs>